YouTube, what is up everybody? Doomwake here and welcome to another video on the channel. We got something a little bit spicy for you today. So for those of you who may not have seen this deck yet, let's go over what we're doing here. So Tameshi Reality Architect is a new card from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. And this card, uh, you can kind of see it on your screen. Um, the first ability is whenever one or more non-creature permanents are returned to your hand, you draw a card, triggers only once per turn. And the second ability, you could pay X and a white, pick up a land, you get an artifact, I think it's artifact or enchantment, mana value X or less, act from the graveyard to play, activate only as a sorcery. So, the combo is, if you have Tameshi, and let's say, you know, just say one land in play, right? If you have a Lotus Bloom, and you sacrifice Lotus Bloom, it goes to your graveyard. If you pay a mana and get pick up your land and get back Lotus Bloom, you net two mana. And you can activate the Tameshi's ability as many times as you want in the turn. So essentially, if you have for every land you have in play, that's plus two mana with Tameshi. So the idea of this deck is set up Lotus Bloom plus Tameshi, make a couple of land drops, maybe with like something like a Sakura Tri Builder, which we have here. And um, essentially what we're doing is we're generating a bunch of mana. What are we doing when we have all this mana? Well, Cultivator Colossus is perfect because not only are we generating a bunch of mana, we're picking up all of our lands. So let's say we have three or four lands in play. We pick them all up with Tameshi, generate eight mana, play Cultivator Colossus. We now have four lands to trigger with the Colossus. And then, because we put those four lands back into play, rinse and repeat with Tameshi again. So essentially what you're doing is you're generating mana, playing Colossus, putting your lands back into play, generating mana, getting another Colossus because we have essentially that we have four, eight, ten, we have 13 copies of Colossus effectively between the four board gates, the four calls, the two finales, and the three Colossus. So essentially you're just Colossus, Colossus, Colossus. You can actually achieve not, well, infinite, but you can basically go through your entire deck guaranteed with Odawara because you can put Odawara into play off of the Colossus ability. You can pick up Odawara with Tameshi, and then you can discard the Odawara to pick up the Colossus, generate some more mana, and go again. Now, how are we killing our opponent? Well, we've generated a whole bunch of mana. We've drawn almost our entire deck. We have two or three giant Cultivator Colossuses. Well, Finale of Devastation, when you cast it for X equals 10, you give all your creatures plus X plus X and haste, which means if we have three 10-10 Colossus, we cast Finale for 10. They're now 20-20s with haste. Plenty for lethal. So that is the general consensus of the deck. So besides the combo pieces, again, we went over the, the tutors, which is Wargate, Eladomri's Call, and Finale. Uh, Wargate is especially important because not only does it get uh, Tameshi, which is a combo piece, it also for three mana gets a Lotus Bloom. And if, you know, in your combo, if you already have Bloom Tameshi, it can be 11 mana get a, or 10 mana get a Colossus. So you have plenty of ways to find all of your combo pieces. We have Teferi to, uh, for anti-interaction. We have Birds of Paradise, which I don't know if Birds is the best ramp spell, but it is the one that gets you the access to the most colors, and you are kind of a four color deck we'll go over the fourth color in just a second you're primarily banned but we have a little bit of a splash so i think birds is you know the one that generates the most amount of the most different colors of mana and it's a one drop and you have teferi in your deck so you want to play teferi on turn two so now these one ofs here some of these are kind of random but they they all have a purpose so skyclave apparition is a tutor target for wargate eladomri's call or finale of devastation skyclave very importantly answers stuff that portable coal can't answer like Karn the Great Creator, Leyland of the Void, basically anything that costs three or more that would stop your combo, Skyclave is there for. We have a Goblin Engineer, which looks kind of weird. However, in order to start the combo, you don't need a Lotus Bloom in play. You only need it in your graveyard because Tameshi can get the Lotus Bloom from the graveyard. So essentially, Goblin Engineer is here for put a Lotus Bloom into the graveyard, play Tameshi, go off the next turn. And because we have Eladomri's Call, Wargate, and Finale, we have a lot of access to Goblin Engineer, which in turn gives us more access to Lotus Bloom. So it's only a one of in your deck, and you have to put a Red Source or two in your deck, but the upside is you turn all of your tutors in, or every single Eladomri's Call and Finale, into fine Lotus Bloom. Very important. Sakura, Tribes, Sakura Tribe Elder is a one of here. Um, it's 
What it's mainly here for is sometimes you need a ramp spell, put an extra land into play with Temeshi. So it's a tutor target that can also essentially give you another uh, more mana when you have on their on your Temeshi turn. But it's also a blocker. If your opponent has a large construct token or Tarmogoyf or something like that, you can, you know, Elendarmer's Call for a Tribe Elder, play it, block their creature, still get a ramp spell. It's kind of like Fog plus ramp spell, which is pretty cool. Portable Hole as a target for Wargate to answer permanence like Rest in Peace, uh, Stony Silence, because those stop your combo. Seal of Removal, if you need to remove a per, um, pesky creature in play that could be something that stop your combo or like a construct token or just a large creature in general and then one spell pierce kind of a miser's one of but it's the cop it's to go with the two in the sideboard because we want three in the 75 but you know we just don't have a 16 sideboard 16 uh card sideboard and then the mana base here um we have a couple of cool not a ton but a couple of cool wargate targets in cavern of souls and ghost quarter um if you're playing against counter spell decks or big mana you can you know you can Wargate for those if you need to. And then, uh, again, the two copies of Odawara, the Basaju, which is also pretty cool. Um, you can, you know, just, it's just a good card to have access to. It's a really good card in the format. And then a bunch of fetch lands, shock lands, one triumph for the Goblin Engineer as well. Moving on to the sideboard, we have a Tormod's Crypt because it's zero mana. You can Wargate for it on turn three against Graveyard Decks. Very important. One Lavinia, one Meddling Mage, mostly here for Cascade, but they have different purposes, so that's why we're choosing to split them, and we have a bunch of tutors, so we get a lot of value out of playing different one-ofs in our sideboard like that. Uh, a Tireless Tracker for the grindy matchups, a Carnage Tyrant for the control matchups, Alpine Moon for big mana, two Spell Pierces to fight over counter spells, three Forge Tenders, mostly here to stop Fury because... Fury is actually good against your combo. You can sometimes slow roll the Temeshi, but sometimes just your mana doesn't work like that and you have to play it. So you kind of want to bring in Forge Tender. Also good against Lightning Bolt and Holy Heat to protect your Temeshi. Uh, and then we have two Prismatic Ending, just a good catch-all removal spell, a Sanctifier to be able to tutor for against the graveyard-based strategies, and then a Seal of Cleansing against Artifacts and Enchantments. Again, another tutor target. That's why this deck is so sick, because you have these four Wargates, four Calls, and you get to play all these awesome what ofs that you essentially have five to nine copies of in your deck, and you only, you know, it takes up one, one spot of, of, of your deck. So that's really cool. Um, this deck is so much fun. I had an absolute blast playing this league, and I really think you guys are going to enjoy this one. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll be back in here in just a little bit for round number one. Mm. <laughs> you actually probably can't tell what this deck is based on this hand. Um, I don't know if this hand's good. I'm going to keep it. I think. Yeah, let's keep it. <laughs> well, you're going to find out what it is when I cast Eladarmer's Call. I'm saying, you know, you don't know. It could be Devoted Druid. You don't know. You don't know. It could be Devoted Druid, dog. Just saying. You think you know. New apartment has so much more light than my old apartment, it's weirded me out. Yeah. I'm not a fan of light. You were hoping for Battle of Wits? No. Not yet. <laughs> Tran. Tran. Yeah. Hmm. Sam's not the best against Tron. Uh okay. I think I have to portable hold that. Just like hope they can't play magic. <laughs> All right, maybe I should have mulled. It's possible I should have mulliganed. That doesn't make my hand better. Probably want to thin my deck. Yeah, yeah, this hand's not good. Well, I'm going to go EOT call for Tabeshi, untap, land four, call for engineer, play engineer, and then I have turn five kill. But probably going to be too slow. I mean, I guess I could just get the Engineer now. Well, mm, nah, I'll still just get Tameshi. I guess I should get the Engineer, because I'm more likely to just draw Tameshi. Yeah, that was bad. I should just get the Engineer. <clears throat> I think you want to max out on white sources for Tameshi activations pre-Lotus Bloom. It, it doesn't really matter with this hand, but... I mean, depending on what they have, like, there's a lot of cards we don't give a shit about. Like, Wormcoil, we don't care about. Karn, we don't really care about. Ugin, don't really care about. 
Um, I, I guess four mana card we care about, but there's not a ton that we actually care about. It's kind of awkward that I have to put the Lotus Bloom into the graveyard. Like, preemptively, so they know what's up. But I have to, because I need to use my mana. Because I don't have an extra mana next turn. Normally you want either a Bloom Engineer in hand, some acceleration at least in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, Brage. Brage. Preach! This is my first league with the deck. So, I've not actually played it yet. You know, kill my engineer? I don't actually care about that. Alright, uh, no Karn the Great Creator and no Ulamog. I think we're good against most other things. <laughs> yeah, we don't give a shit about that. Alright, we won. <laughs> We won. Nice Ugin, by the way. <laughs> nice fucking Ugin, by the way. Alright, so blue, this. Oh man, I like, I goldfish this a little bit. The combo is so fun. It's so much fun. I used to know. I hope they have six. Dude, this deck is so dope. I I I I uh, my only experience was gold fishing a couple times, but it's so much fun. The person who posted this on Twitter has like four or five O's. I don't is the deck like actually legit? Yeah, it's got a pretty wild kill. Alright, make white. Done. It might be good. Done. One thing that, that I that I missed the first time is you have to keep a land in play when you go for Colossus, or else it just <laughs> or else it just dies. So make sure you have a land left when you're going for Colossus. The first time I did that, I was like, oh, I don't have any lands in play. My Colossus dies. That's awkward. And you want to float white because you need white to activate Tameshi. So we need to do it for seven. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, leaving a white floating, keeping a land in play to keep the Colossus. Do this, 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 done. Get back Lotus Bloom. God, this deck is dope. <clears throat> Basically, you just loop a bunch of Cultivator Colossuses until they die. Until you eventually finale for, you know, the actual kill. So I'm gonna- you basically, you need to save the second finale. Is there a way to get a finale back into your deck if you have to use both of them early? Like, early in the combo? I don't think there is, is there? The living shit out of me. I don't know. I don't think there's an Eternal Witness in this deck. I don't believe there's an E-Witness. Are you hanging by a thread or swinging from the rope? Alright, make green. Green, blue, white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. Colossus. Land. Land. <clears throat> mm. 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 Just make sure not to deck yourself, Chad. Just make sure you don't deck yourself. Alright, so now let's go get back Bloom. How much damage can we deal? That's the real question. How much damage can we deal? Probably a lot. 
Do, can I, do I have another Wargate? I want to go for the third Colossus. Oh, I can Tef bounce my Colossus. I can also call for it. I'm going to go for the third Colossus. I don't need to, but I want to. It's for the content. <laughs> it's for the content. <laughs> yeah, don't deck yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> oh, man. Skyclave Ugin Pass? No. Skyclave Ugin has been called. It's Meshi's kind of fucked up. All right, up, let me finish this combo, Yaboski, and then I'll and then I'll give you some fat clouds. I'm I'm mid combo though. You're, you're gonna have to wait till I finish this combo. All right, I'm just gonna stop messing around. Call for the last Colossus. Uh, I could go deeper, but I'm too lazy. All right, what do we say? Don't deck yourself. Are you hanging by a thread or swinging from the rope? I want to put all of my lands into play. Are you legally allowed to cast Finale if you don't have a target or if you don't have cards in deck? I assume you are, right? Because you just fail to find. Yeah, I assume you just fail to find. Yeah, may just be able to find. This deck is so gas. This deck is so gas. I'm gonna put two birds into play too. Cause I want to. I just want to. I I know this is like overkill, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Alright, where's that finale? Alright, gas finale. Wargate finds Bloom. Yeah, no, I know it does, I know. Uh, search. Get another bird. Attack! Minus 121, by the way. That's a good thumbnail, just like the minus 121. That's a good YouTube thumbnail. Yeah, I know, but I'm like, come on, man. I just, I just want to overkill, okay? <laughs> just let me have my fun, okay, man? Can you just let me have my fun for once, please? <clears throat> Alright, what are we boarding against Drawn? Uh, well, Seal of Cleansing, perhaps. Prismatic Ending, perhaps. Spell Pierce, perhaps. Uh, I don't want these value. Why? I, I also noticed there's a fucking Carnage Tyrant in my sideboard. I don't know why, but... Lavinia Meddling Mage, probably. Like, these seven. These seven seem reasonable. Oh, I don't need a Seal of Removal. Skyclave seems horrendous. I feel like Teferi is not that good. Yeah, Teferi is kind of shit. So this is six of these seven. Maybe Seal of Cleansing is not actually good. Because it doesn't interact when you want to interact. Like, it doesn't interact. I guess it kills Bridge, but... Oh yeah, the Alpine Moon. Duh. Yeah, I definitely want the Alpine Moon. Uh, what are we cutting? Everything else looks pretty good. Maybe the Steve? I got the Steve. I'm gonna put those clouds on a diet. Uh, I mean, I kind of like Steve because it ramps, right? Got Portable Hole. Portable Hole's good for the same reason the ending is good. It's just, it's good on turn one. So, like, having three copies of that in my deck seemed pretty good because you're more likely to have one in your opening hand for their first piece. Like, I think the whole point is you want these in your opening hand. Because they're not good past your opening hand. Like, once you've gotten to that stage of the game, they're pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know if I want all three of these. I think Lavinia is good. I'm not actually sure Meddling Mage is that good. I think I'm just going to do this. I don't think I want the Mage of the Seal of Cleansing. I think this is Gucci. Alright, let's try not to keep a turn 5 kill this game. Uh, the sand is... Kind of weird. 
So this is what, turn one birds, turn two pass? This thing seems bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna ship this. I mean, it does have birds, but the rest of the hand I think is just terrible. <laughs> okay, this is like ending into Lavinia into Besiju. This is like a weird, just like, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm gonna keep it. I kind of want to put back Finale. Because Finale for Tameshi is going to be too slow anyways. And I want to keep all three of my lands because I want to be able to use this. This is like a spell, essentially, in this matchup. The Seiju is never going to be a land in this matchup. It's always going to be a spell. Okay. Uh, I can lead on Planes. The Blast Zone. Okay. I have Breeding Pool, right? Yes. Alright, Lavinia. You're good. Thankfully, they didn't play a Tron lane and, like, force me to besiege them. Because I didn't want to besiege them. Ancient Stirrings. Ancient Stirrings. This locks them out of casting... Uh, Karn, Ugin, other Karn. That's it, though. And a star. Oh, no land? You love to see that. So now we can just prismatic ending this. Misty to thin a little bit. And then beatdowns. Can this take play a companion? Map. Map, map, map. Let's get the Ketria Trum in case I find Engineer. Wargate? Huh. What can I Wargate for? And <laughs> Wargate for Portable? <laughs> I don't really know. Could not get this guess the deck with this draw. No, I just like two drew two prismatic endings in a Lavinia. Um, I could obviously just get Lotus Bloom, but I'm not really going anywhere with Lotus Bloom. Uh, getting Alpine Moon kind of stinks. I don't want to give them green mana. I kind of want to just get Portable Hole. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get Portable Hole. Like they've missed two land drops. Yeah, let's get the hole. We'll get the hole. I mean, it's not the best in the face of the blast zone, but they're going to keep missing land drops then. Okay. Maybe there's stirrings. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eight chord five. I actually saw these guys live two weeks ago. Such a good live show. All right, beatdowns. So now we have to go draw phase, besiege you. Actually, is draw phase good? Because if I draw phase, they can activate the blast zone and just put two counters on it. I think I should actually main phase this. Yeah, I'm going to main phase it. I don't want them putting a second counter in the blast zone. Need to find, like, some stuff. <laughs> what a weird game. Okay, there's the Ursus Mine. I guess they can play Ballista. Which it looks like they're gonna do. Yeah. Okay. Let's crack this. It's our best draw. I don't really know. We don't have, like, a lot of... good draws. Yeah, that probably doesn't count. Might as well attack because if I if they don't take the trade, they're just they just put a counter on this and kill this anyway, so. My Lavinia is dead regardless. I guess I could have bounced the ballista, but oh no. Eh alright, fine. 
Touche. Touche. Should I play that in the challenge? What, this deck? Nah. So they play Karn, but their best play is still activating this. It's kind of weird. Wait, now I can just bounce the Karn. And they can't use it. I mean, the fuck else am I doing, right? I don't really know what I'm drawing towards, but... I guess I'm drawing towards a way to blow up a Tron land, and then I can spell pierce the Karn, maybe? So I could draw exactly Alpine Moon and just hope they jam Karn. I guess my I guess my play. All right, I don't want to play. You went. What a weird draw. What a weird draw. Seal is a little bit better on the play because you can actually like kill their. You can actually kill their map. Whereas you can't do that on the draw. Hmm. Not really sure what's bad though. Like I, I like all of my cards. I could trim Wargate because it's kind of slow, but nah, I'm just gonna do this. I think it's fine. All right, on the play. Hmm. So cavern on bird and nothing. All right. We gotta stop having two Colossus in our opening hand. Uh, opponent kept seven. I kind of think I have to keep this hand. I hate it, but I think I have to keep it. It's like combo piece, double spell pierce, and a ghost quarter. Just snap piercing, whatever this is. Alright, what's our best draw? I guess just a way to find the second combo piece. Alright, flooded strand go. Do nothing and die to turn seven worm coil land. I mean we have a combo piece in our hand. Like we're halfway there. What living on a prayer. I'm just gonna snap pierce whatever they play. I don't even know if that's right, but The bait. Actual jabate. Actual fucking jabate. Alright, I don't have to go score this turn because they only have access to two mana after they crack. There's no way they just have it. I I'm not... I they don't have it. I need to cast this call. If they have it, they have it. I'm not, you know... I'm not going to play around that shit. All right, Eladon Gall. What are we getting, though, is the question. Still just Tameshi? Because Tameshi can, like, find us gas. Oh, no, you can't cast this if you don't have a target. Or you can't activate this if you don't have a target. I guess I could get Lavinia. And then just go Lavinia Ghost Order them. It's not terrible. You still want to get to Meshi? Yeah, it might still be best to just get to Meshi and just hope to draw Wargate or Engineer. Okay. Let me do this draw step. It's better when you're with me. Okay. So now we draw Wargate, and then we activate Tameshi and get insanely lucky. Oh. Oh! But here's the issue. So if I play Engineer, get the get the Bloom, activate Tameshi. Pick up planes. Oh, even if I miss, I can still cast ending on this. Even if I miss, right? Yeah, I can still ending even if I miss. <laughs> so that was the best possible draw. So we get to go engineer. 
trigger. I guess they could have like dismember or something, but. All right, so pick up the planes. Then we get the draw card, see if we hit. Oh, so we win. <laughs> okay, well, that makes it easy. Uh, I guess we can sack for green. Done. Chat, we're very lucky. Blue. No, white. White. Done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, but the Colossus is going to die. That's fine, right? <clears throat> yeah, I don't really care that much if the Colossus dies. I mean, I kind of do, but... Like, the first Colossus dying is not that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't think it matters. So we get to go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with a white floating. Exactly enough. Search for a Colossus. No. And we hit again, so we're chilling. Yeah, we should be good to go now. Should be good to go now. Remember when we thought we were going to lose this game? Chat thought we were going to lose this game. Turns out I am insanely lucky, and chat always doubted me. <laughs> Any doubters? Any doubters in the chat? This one I think I can actually leave a land in play to, right? Yeah, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I can leave a land in play. So this is five, six, seven, done. Oh, I could just put the one, oh. Oh, you know what the problem is though? I've used both of my finales. How do I haste? I can't put the finales back in my deck. Well, I didn't have any other option. I couldn't keep going. The rest of my hand could not keep going. You know what I mean? Like, I literally could not keep going without casting the finale. So, like, I didn't have a choice, right? Yeah, I mean, I could just kill the O-Stone. It's not that big of a deal. And then I could just, like, pass with Spell Pierce up. Alright, so let's pick up a land. <laughs> You got exactly enough to play X equals 10. No, I had two mana floating, and I did it for seven. Oh, you're saying if I picked up the last land. If I picked up the last land, I could have, yeah. Wargate for a Ghost Quarter. The Ghost Quarter's in my graveyard. I mean, I'm just going to put another... I'm just going to put another Colossus into play. Oh, I've already played my land. Yeah, 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 but I could have activated it one more time. Yeah, so that's what you're saying. I could have activated it one more time. I don't think it matters. I think we're still fine. Alright, let's go ending this. I actually don't want to put the last Colossus into play because just in case they go like Tron land Ugin or some shit, I, I don't want to like go literally all in, you know? So I think I'm just going to chill. I guess I could even Wargate as well, right? Yeah, I might as well Wargate. Let's just Wargate here. Let's pick up a land. I just want to get Alpine Moon just so there's like no way I can get Trond. Might as well do it for three. And we'll get the Alpine Moon. I guess I could get Lavinia. Is that better? It's probably better, right? All right. And then pass with Spell Pierce up. Should be fine. Can find a moon. I think Lavinia's better. Maybe not. Lavinia doesn't stop and throw a stone. That's true. That is a good point. Lavinia does not stop and throw a stone. So maybe Lavinia was worse. 
Well, the problem with that house, I don't want to go through my last cultivator in case they have Le Tron Land Ugin, because they can pay for Spell Pierce, right? Oh no, they can't. They only have they only have nine mana with Ugin, so they can't they can't pay for Spell Pierce. So I could just Spell Pierce the Ugin, because that was a way I could lose. Where if I like put all my Colossuses into play and they resolve an Ugin, but yeah, I only have two I only have two finales in my deck, and I had to cast them both to set up the first two Colossus, so I couldn't actually draw a finale to kill them. Yeah. Spell Pierce stops a no stone. Tron land pay. Yeah, they'd be one short. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. The same plays. It's a little slow. I'm not going to cavern on bird, but I'm going to go Trium, suspend, turn two bird. I'm seeing the turn four kill uninterrupted, but. No, it's too good. It's way too good. That was a good draw step. So now I can actually go turn two to fairy. Maybe I'm just complaining to complain, but I don't know. I just Omneth is such a joke of a card. And also the gameplay is just awful. It's just miserable. People complain about rhinos, but I'd rather just lose to rhinos because at least he gets at least you, it, they get it over with quickly. Sure. Barry is going to be a little bit too late to the party. Crossfade is dope. What creature type is Tameshi? I don't have Outburst, that's good. Um, go. Well, see, the thing about playing against four-color Omnath is the the joke is you don't have a chance. Like you think you have a chance, you once you once you've gotten to like turn four, turn five, you literally can't win. It it literally does not matter what you do. Like there's there is no winning a long game against four-color. It's not. It's literally not possible. Are you gonna bounce this? It's fine, I'll just sack it. Wish I had an instant to play, but I can just go like sack it, play to fairy. Alright, make black, red, sure. <laughs> Go to my main phase. White, green, blue. Please don't have force. Plus. That was a really good turn. Good finale for Tameshi next turn. Hmm. Um. So I don't want to put Tameshi into play until I'm going to use it. So I think what I might do is just go uptick Tef play land pass. Next turn I can go cavern finale for Tameshi and then with a mana up, and then Wargate for Colossus. So let's just go plus here, play Island Pass. I guess this could get dicey if they have Odawara, but they likely can't kill us because they can't Odawara and Outburst. So, like, worst case, they just bounce this, and we can just double Tef next turn. It's not that bad. Yeah, they just have nothing. This, this game should be over. Denying on their end step. Oh, right. Teferi's a card. Eh, too late. I have sixth. I forgot I could do that, but yeah, no, I should have done that. I don't think it matters. Moon Folk. Uh, cast Finale. Green, green. This, this, this. Done. 
uh, search library. Tameshi. Now we doing things. Done. Now we doing things, chat. Crack for white. Get back bloom. Done. Crack for blue. Get back bloom. Crack for green. Get back bloom. Done. Pick up this. Guess I'll bust F. Uh, crack for white. Get back bloom. Done. Pick up this. And then now we Colossus. Sure, it's fine. I'll just do that. One, two, three. This, no. This, no. This, no. Done. White. Get back bloom. God, this next crack. I should have played this deck in the challenge. <laughs> Green. Get back bloom. Is this deck, this deck just quietly broken, huh? White, get back bloom, done. Make blue, get back bloom, done. Make green, get back bloom, done. Make white, get back bloom, done. Now we can make green, Eladomri's call, get a Colossus. Play Colossus. Trigger its lands. And that's it. Ah, this deck is so sick. <laughs> oh my god. Done. Ah. Oh, his name Otter? Oh, I punted. I clearly punted. Should've named Otter. I got one more Colossus. I don't need to go for the extra Colossus. I'll just kill them. Done. This. Uh, make white. Play around Odawara. I'm gonna have a million lethal creatures. They're all going to be lethal. Done. Can we win same turn? Yeah, finale. <clears throat> the finale gives all your stuff haste. Stack had your curiosity now has your attention. It's felt pretty good so far. Four years strong, it must suck to be four years strong. Is that right? Is that really a name of one of their songs? It must suck to be four year. Oh, it is really one of their one of their songs. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Alright, what are we playing against? Rhinos? Rhinos, spell pierce, get in. I do like four years strong, so. I kind of don't like the spot removal against Rhino, so I'm going to cut that shit. We have to worry about endurance, but we do have four Tefts, so. I'm going to cut the seal. Got Skyclave. It's kind of sketchy that, like, all of our <sighs> birds against Fury, too. This matchup doesn't seem great, but. I guess if you just resolve to fairy, you can win, but. Uh, what are we cutting? I could probably cut this Besage, right? Yeah. Hmm. Birds call five lands. Hey, it's bird call. TG, it's bird call. 
Uh, sand kind of sucks. It does have call for Lavinia. Let's try it. So we have a Sager for Moon. I got enough basics. I don't really care about Moon. Like, Moon doesn't actually stop your combo. You just fetch basics and you don't care about Moon. Uh, getting a Forest is bad if they kill Bird. Yeah, maybe I wasn't supposed to get a Forest, even though I kind of want to play around Blood Moon. Because now if they kill Bird, I can't play Mage. Oh, that's also a punishment, too. Well, not really. I can just hold up Pierce plus Call, which I think is fine. And then next turn I can bait, I can mage, and if they outburst, I can slam the pierce. Yeah, so let's just go, I think Heath pass. I'm just gonna YOLO? What I might do, I might call for Lavinia, and then just go Lavinia and Meddling Mage named Fury. I think I might do that. Well, no, I probably should still get Tameshi, right? And just play Mage instead of Tameshi. Can't guess both? What do you mean? Because of the forest? Oh, right, yeah, okay. So yeah, I'll just get Tameshi then. I'll just get Tameshi and then Mage Rhinos. Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. I guess I shouldn't have cast the Yellow Domri Skull. Uh, yes, I shouldn't have cast the Yellow Domri Skull. <laughs> we call that the Yellow Domri Skull bug. Now I'm just going to get Furied. No blocks. I declare no blocks. Hmm. Yuri pitch outburst, huh? Not great. Means they probably have shardless or another outburst. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Alright. Uh, well, I have to cast Tameshi. And then hope to draw a payoff next turn. And also hope that Tameshi doesn't die. And hope that we don't die because we're taking 12 damage. Well, no, I'm going to block Shardless. A Wargate for Lotus. Yeah, but I have no payoff. I have no payoff. I, I guess I get a draw off Tameshi. Oh, uh, I do get a draw off Tameshi, yeah. We could have won. How would we have won? I Wargate for... I have one draw step. We only get one draw step, man. Maybe it still would have been a better play to go for it. Because now I'm just going to lose the Force. <clears throat> but I have to go for Wargate, right? Am I missing something? I don't think I'm missing something. Uh, Alright, so we make green? No, I probably better make blue. No, I actually make white. Because then, if they have Endurance, I can respond. Yeah. This is better against Endurance. Mm. So now I have one more draw to Teferi. Oh, Sorcery Speed. Okay, okay, okay. We get another Song Request from Kyle. Let's do that real quick. 
In the queue. You get the draw of Tameshi. Oh, because I can I can keep the new Tameshi. Well, I should still Tef first, right? So let's go blue, Tef with blue white floating. And then we can bounce a Rhino. I mean, I assume they have nothing because they would have responded by now if they had something, right? All right, what are they doing? Oh. I see. Okay. So I guess I bought him that. Right? I think I bought him that. I mean, I could draw it again, but it's a three mana cantrip, right? So I bought him that. Get back Bloom. And I have to use the Tameshi just to pick up a land. Let's get back the Bloom. Crack for white. Play second Tameshi. Keep the new Tameshi. Activate Bloom. Done. Oh, does that do it? God, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Alright, so... Blue. Pay a white. Done. Pick up. Wait, it's not enough mana, right? I'm short, aren't I? Because I go green. Get back the bloom. Yeah, I can only work eight for six. Right? I'm short of mana. Yeah, but I'm short of mana, right? Three, so three, four, five, six, seven. Minus one to use the Tameshi down to six, plus three from the Bloom is nine. So I can only work eight for six. What can I work eight for? Hmm, I don't think I can work eight for anything. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I guess I can Wargate for Teferi? Does that do anything? I don't know if that does anything. Bounce a Rhino, block here, still dead. Man, one short, huh? That sucks. Damn it. So close. So close. One mana short. God damn it. Teferi helped to draw a seal. Teferi... No, I cut the seal. Yeah, I cut the seal. Two, three, one, two, three. God, one mana short, huh? I could Teferi into Teferi. Uh, I guess that buys me a turn. I don't know if I have any outs, but it buys me a turn. Can we talk about the name that just followed me? Lesbian Danny DeVito? That's a dope name. It's a dope username. a nice song.
Yeah, I'm down, D-Spain. I'm down. I didn't know you were in a band at one point. Do, do, do. Must be something better than the Red Splash for Engineer. I mean, it's just basically two mana and two in this deck, because you only care about the Bloom being in your graveyard. So, like, you don't lose a ton by putting it into your deck. Like, you add, you add a Ketria Tribe and a Stomping Ground, but you have access to five copies of essentially two mana put a Bloom in your graveyard, which is just too good to pass up, I think. It's going to be loud. Did you Discord it to me? You did. It's going to be loud AF. Well, I could turn the volume down, you know that, right? We'll finish out the song request. But yeah, no, I think I think the engineer's fine. I think it's worth it. All right, play first. Nope. Mm, nope. Alright, keep, I guess. Back to the ghost quarter, I think. I think I'm gonna go... Temple Garden? Temple Garden, then turn to Triumph Lavinia. Alright, let's see. T-Spain. Wasn't even that loud. Uh, white, blue, Lavinia. Now they can't fury me. Unless they have dispute. No dispute would be so huge here. Because if they don't dispute this, they can't play fury. They can't force my Teferi. And they can't dispute my Teferi next turn. And they also can't guess Fire Ice. Right? How does this work with Fire Ice? Why did they tank on that? Where can I be the list for this deck? Uh, it's on Goldfish somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Or no, I copied this from Twitter. I guess I can put it into Goldfish. Or I can put it into Stream Decker real quick. Take two seconds. Stream Decker, upload. Documents. Dun, dun. Song, this song's not bad. I like it. I like it. I play Teferi Time Raveler. Okay, your turn. They pitch. They pitched a fire ice. Uh, I guess I'll play the land. Sure. We need to find a engineer or a Eladon race call so we can bin a Lotus Bloom. I shamelessly stole this list from Twitter. Oh, they just have Outburst? Okay. Outburst. Outburst. Mm-hmm. Your turn.
No blocks. Hmm, I wish I could just discard this. I'm not going to survive four turns, but... Alright, go to one. Can I Wargate the Lotus Bloom? Yeah, yeah, so Wargate would be an out too. But yeah, so Wargate, Engineer, or Eladomri's Call. Or they just have fear and we can't win. Cool. Sweet. Uh, Alright, I'll buy this. Go suspend untapped. Oh, but we'll see. When you renew, when you renew your prime, it like, you know how it pops up as like a thing in chat where you can, um, you know, send my message in chat or whatever. You have to like check off the box and type in a resub message. Whenever you resub, you gotta type in the resub message and then Yeah, you probably just didn't, the resub message probably didn't go through. Is this Neoform? Uh, okay. Mm, Neoform, huh? Kind of sketch. Kind of sketchy. You're on your phone getting up hurts. Can you not do it on your phone? I thought you could do the resub message on your phone. Maybe not. Can you hear that? Maybe they'll just go for it and not have a pact. Maybe they'll just go for it. It's kind of awkward that I played the breeding pool untapped. I mean, I thought I had to, but... All right, well, please don't have Pact. Please don't have Pact. Prage. Prage, no Pact. Pause, champ. Fuck. All right. Kill me. Should I concede? Maybe they don't know how their deck works? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> like, I always want to concede, but it's like, maybe they brick, maybe they don't know how their deck works. Yeah, it's actually been popping up uh, a little bit more recently, Kyle. Because I think Cancer was playing it. I will say, the way that they kill you now is pretty fucking fancy. Their, their kill condition is Thrasta. And there's some card that, like, gives... It's a, it's a green... I don't know what it's called, but it's a one-mana green card... And it gives your creature plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you gained. So basically, you play four shoals for 15 each or whatever, and then you play a Thrasta because you've cast a million spells, and then you just give your Thrasta plus 60 plus 60. I, their kill condition is pretty sweet. I will, I'll give them that. <laughs> yeah, where's John? Where is John? Does somebody know what that card's called? The green one? The one mana card that makes their creature huge. Mm. Ugh. Fortifying Draught. That's what it is. Fortifying Draught. Mm 
Is that card even good and limited? You gain two creature. Oh, because it gains you two life. So it's like a, a giant growth, but could also have some upside. Okay, I guess I didn't realize that you also gain two life. So yeah, it's pretty good. I guess it would be kind of unplayable if it didn't gain two life, but. Does it give haste or no? Just plus X plus X. Well, I know that, you know, Thrasta has haste, but I was wondering if you could target your Gristle Brand with it. It's a life gain sub theme. Yeah, that makes sense. Usually when there's cards like that, they are they're typically build around cards. Or they have like more context. <clears throat> Nourishing Shoal, Back, Box, Amber. Okay. I assume I'm dead, but... So they make... I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, do they just have Lapman? Oh, okay. They're the OG kill. Never mind, they're not getting fancy. Alright, Meddling Mage, Lavidia, Spell Pierce. Uh, these cards seem bad. This seems bad. Uh, I think all these cards are bad. So just the just these four. And then we can cut Portable Hole. I think Seal of Removal is good. Because if you have this in play, you can respond to a shoal. Well, no, because... So how does it work? So they, they Neoform. You have a seal in play. They Neoform. They pay seven. I guess you just respond to the first pay seven. Which is probably not even good, right? This card's definitely bad. Like, that's probably just not good enough. I don't think. Yeah, it's probably not good enough. And then I guess uh, I kind of want to just kind of land because I like all my cards. All right, on uh, the play. I say it's too slow. I mean, this hand has a turn three hate bear. Is that good enough? Probably not. Probably just have to mulligan to either Spell Pierce or just Hey Bear in our opening hand. Alright, well. Hope that's good enough. I'm just gonna put back these two and curve Lavinia into Teferi. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Could you use Seal the Bounce Lab, man? You could, but if they have enough life, they can just activate it again. Like, if they have, let's say they're a 21 and no cards in library, they pay 7, you bounce, they just pay 7 in response. So it's like, it's not that good. The primary use would be to break up Gristlebrand, but I'm not even sure it really does what you want it to there. Yeah, also, Seal is something you have to play face up, and they know about it, which makes it even worse. Alright, now that I drew that, I'm going to get a Temple Garden. I was going to get a Basic Plains, but... Alright, well, hope you can't beat this card. Pause Champ? Conceded from the game? Maybe you don't have an answer to it? I mean, they, they literally can't win when, they ha when this is in play. Like, none of their spells work. I would imagine they have answers to it, but... <clears throat> mm. Now I kind of want to just Wargate. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna wargate now. Because then next turn I can finale for Tameshi and potentially kill them. Not times with the ghosts I've left behind. Yeah, if we draw a payoff card, we can kill them next turn. Can't even hard cast the rest because they have lab man. That's also true. Although, maybe they have both. We don't know. Like, we didn't see Thrasta. They could have both. I don't know why you would play both, but... Untapped? Is this like Teferi or something? <laughs> I'm just casting lab man. Bet. Uh, oh, that's just lethal. Alright, cool, we win. God, this deck is so good. This deck is so cracked. <laughs> it's so dope. I was thinking of, like, Dismember? Dismember is a card they could have. Forgive, but never forget. Mm, all right, blue. Wait, somebody's calling me. Hold on, chat. All right, uh, you're dead. Did not expect my food to be here that quick. This is 10. I kind of want to keep up Spell Pierce. So I'm actually just going to... I'm going to let the, the first Colossus die, I think. Because eh. right now, I need to have a white floating for Tameshi. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let the first Colossus die. I think it's fine. Like ideally, you don't want it. You you don't want the first Colossus to die, but I'd much rather hold up Spell Pierce and float a white mana. So X equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. It's not that big of a deal that the first Colossus dies. I'd rather just have Spell Pierce and activation up. Stuck in the deep center. I could have also done it for 10, but then I can't spell Pierce. Um, so they're going to cast Pact and then die? Okay, that resolves. Search. I guess they're not going to cast Pact. No... This, this, done, keep, get back Bloom, get this, and we can just call for another Colossus, we should be able to kill them. We'll probably draw our whole deck now. What's up, Ithakinus? How you doing, buddy? Uh, green, get back Bloom, pick up this. Let me crack for white. Get back this. Pick up this. And then this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is. Call for Colossus. Oh, it's the same thing. We're not gonna we're not gonna be able to keep the land. Huh. Is that a problem? I mean, I still have a Colossus left. So if I just do this, this is seven mana to play the Colossus, but then I don't have enough mana for Tameshi. So I think I have to go one more time and just let the second Colossus die. I can just kill them with the last Colossus, it's fine. Like, you only need one Colossus to kill them. Like, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so confusing to watch. Trust me, our opponent's dead. All right, this one should be more than enough. Okay, so now we go get back the bloom. Done. Pick up a land. Yeah, this should be more than enough. Let me go sack for white. Get back the bloom. Pick up a land. Sack for blue. Pick up the bloom. Yeah, this should be enough for lethal. Where'd my Colossus go? It died. I had no lands in play, man. I had to pick up all my lands. This is a disaster on Moto. Yeah, it's not the best. It's it's not the best. Because, like, usually you want to keep a land in play when you have the Colossus, but the first two times I had reasons to not keep a land in play, this time I'm going to keep a land in play. Uh, just sec for green, actually. Call... Still have more clock than the opponent. Well, I'm just... I'm just built different, okay? I'm just built different. Alright, now I just need to find the other finale. I guess if we don't find the finale, we can't kill them, but... We only have one finale left. Okay, so we can't kill them. But... Can play my entire hand. <clears throat> Odawara to bounce Colossus. Oh, if I didn't put the Odo, oh, I could just pick up the Odawara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. I forgot that you could do that. That's fucking insane. Oh, you could just do it infinitely because you can keep picking up the Odawara. That's absurd. Holy shit! I didn't think about that. That's nuts. So you just you can just you you, you it's just a lock because you can just do it infinitely. That's nuts, dude. Well, yeah, I could Teft Bounce the Colossus, too, but... Like, I knew I could do that. Yeah, that's probably just easier, right? God, this deck takes so long to win with. <laughs> it takes so long to win with. Oh, my God. I'm just trying to eat pizza, man. Found this line, chat. All right, don't pick up my last land. Okay, I cast Colossus. This, 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 this. All right, now they're dead. As long as I don't deck myself. Just don't deck myself. All right, no more lands. Uh, get back Bloom. Pick up Odawara. Green. Let's play a bunch of birds and then kill them with birds. If I sing alone... We'll go one more loop and they should be good. Still gonna be up on time, by the way. Get a finale. X equals 12. Uh, search library. I actually don't want to put a Colossus into play. It's just gonna be too many triggers. It's just way too many triggers. Alright, minus 81, by the way. Minus 81, by the way. <laughs> this deck is so sick. Oh my god, I love this deck so much. I'm glad I decided to play it. This deck is so giga brain. Tune in and Doom is playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic. Classic. What's that called? Tameshi. Stuff. 
Tameshi Bloom. Alright, I'm going to start eating my food. It's a chicken bacon ranch pizza. Also, I think I just keep any ham with a hate bear. I don't know if it's a good idea, but. All right, are we dead? <clears throat> are we dead? Not dead? Pause champ. Let's go Ketria. All right. <clears throat> this resolves. Please resolve. Prage. Prage. Resolve and no bounce spell. That is totally fine. No, we're just going to hard cast Cultivator Colossus this game. Cowboys can't afford free agents because all their money is going to deck and a mediocre running back. <laughs> Look, the Cowboys don't have the best uh, salary management. We'll just say that. Not the best. Ari is a huge loss. Huge loss. I think they, they think that um that CD can be a number one. Like CD is good. I just don't I don't know that CD can be a good like a good number one, you know? He's definitely a good football player, but Oh, so they're dead. Lit. Um play this. Oh, no, I don't have enough mana. I'm stupid. I'm one mana short, aren't I? Right, because I need a mana floating. I need one mana left over with the Tameshi. Uh, okay. Lame, is, lame is, isn't just, lame just good because of Amari? Well, that too, right? Like, you need to have... You can't just have one guy. You have one guy, they just load up on that guy, and, you know, what are you doing? But, like, you need to have depth, basically. 
I mean, I'm still going to cast this, but... I guess they could also just counter this with, like, a Spell Pierce. I have a feeling that they just, like, have a Bounce Spell and I'm going to die, but nothing I can do about that. Steelers fan, I don't still know how I feel about Trubisky. Trubisky's kind of medium. He's not awful, but... I'm going to grab Middling Mage there. I didn't think about that. All right, we have successfully untapped. Mm, all right, mana. Done. I make mana. What do you do? Oh, we can just play Teferi too. See if that'll do it. That'll do. Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer. Okay. Resolves. So, are we done? I think we're done. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Uh, planes. White. Get back balloon. Done. Uh, green. Get back balloon. Think I'm a land. Blue. Get back balloon. Done. Think I'm a land. I just want to eat my pizza, man. I just want to eat my pizza. Done. Get back, Bloom. Uh, green. Done. Blue. Oops. Da, 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 da. Done. Mm, white. Cast Birds of Paradise. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's only nine. Oops. Need to go through one more iteration. Green. Cast this one. I could cast more Colossus. I just want to get this game over with so I can eat food. Done. Search library. Get Birds of Paradise. Attack. Minus 73, by the way. Alright. Alright, play first. Uh, yeah, turn four kill. Turn four kill with some interaction. Can't complain. Um, I think I'm gonna play this one first. Might as well get the seal into play, right? It's kind of a free roll. <clears throat> seal of removal, Lotus Bloom, go. What could I possibly be playing? Yeah, we need a payoff. Well, it could be a Tutor, it could be a Colossus, just a payoff. Which we have... Four to nine of? No. Twelve, because of the calls. So yeah, twelve outs. But they had a Thoughtseize anyways. Thoughtseize bug. Not quite, but... The fact that Seal can protect Tameshi is kind of cool. Chat, do you have any idea how much these uh, Birds of Paradise cost in real life, Foil 7th Edition? The answer is a fuck ton. Well, I mean, you can also just, like, Wargate for one... Uh, I don't think I'm protecting bird. I think that's fine. No, it's like two grand. <laughs> it's there like two grand. 
Yeah, nice try, chat. You're thinking way too small. Chat's thinking way too small. Tameshi. It's kind of like Tameshi. All right, please don't have a discard spell. Dude, you know what we should do? We should play an obstinate Bailoff. So that if we only have one call in hand and our opponent casts a Thoughtseize, we can just go BAM. Taste it. What do you think about that? Is that is that too is that too Giga Brain? It's probably too Giga Brain. Sure. Please don't have a discard spell. Please don't have a discard spell. Don't care about that. Poggers. <laughs> Alright, we need to find a threat. We get two looks at it. We get two looks because we get a draw of Tameshi. Uh, yep. I guess I'm going to fetch now. Yeah, might as well. Oh, I should have got a non shock land so I could pick up a shock land and then and then if I replay it, you know what I mean, to like not take damage. I should just get a planes. Okay, that is not a payoff. Uh. All right, cast Tameshi. Please find a payoff. Please find a payoff. Come on, chat. Colossus. Colossus. Colossus! 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 Hmm. Do I have enough mana for that? I think I'm short, right? So I crack Bloom, play Tameshi. Yeah, I think I'm short. Am I short? Because <clears throat> each land is like two, right? Essentially, each land is plus two mana. So I think I'm one short because the the end the last Lotus Bloom is plus three. Yeah, we're one short because it's nine. Hmm. Well. I feel like I should probably play the Tameshi and play around a discard spell. Because we have a Graveyard Heat piece beat because we can just portable hole it. We have 12? No, we have 9. Oh, plus, yeah, plus, yeah. I'm essentially, I'm, I'm, I'm counting after the Tameshi, but... <sighs> I think I'm just going to play Tameshi and pass to play around discard spells. Kind of sucks, but... Again, we can beat a piece of graveyard hate because we have portable hole. We just have to have to hope they don't have another removal spell, which I guess there's a good chance they do. <clears throat> I guess like playing Tameshi maybe makes it so we don't get hit by Ragavan if they don't have a removal spell. Yeah, I don't care about that. Because you have hole. I think they'll name Lotus Bloom. Damn it! Try another one. Try another Tameshi. Tameshi! Oh, right on time, asshole. I could have played this last turn to protect it if I fucking drew the bird. Um, I think I just go... Oh wait, I can work it for Tameshi and try to spike a payoff, right? Yeah, why don't I just do that? Yeah, just go Hallowed Fountain untapped. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna do that. White, blue, green, three. Yeah, okay. And then we get one shot at a payoff. 
Oh no, because they have the needle and I can't... Okay, this was dumb. Yeah, because I can't do both. I mean, this is fine because I can just play Portable Hole and kill the needle now. And have a shitter left over. But like, I kind of... Maybe I shouldn't have played the Wargate there. Should I have just passed? Like, obviously I'm playing the I'm playing the hole, but maybe I should have passed. Passing is bad if they have the discard spell. Obviously I don't care about the bird. Is Holobine good? Depends on how lucky you are. Alright, I just don't want to play anymore. You win, dude. Cool deck. Uh, Prismatic Ending, I guess. This matchup seems really tough. This card's dog shit. This card's... Mm, maybe fine. I think this card sucks. Well, I guess it answers their shit. I'm just gonna do this. <clears throat> I mean, pretty much, yeah. All right, don't be talking about don't be talking shit about the deck I literally have built right here. I know you're not I know you can't be talking shit about this deck that I literally have built right here. Hey, where is it? God damn it. Hello? Where are my hollow ones at? They're just at the bottom. Okay, I can't find a hollow one, whatever. I played it at FNM last night. I went 2-2. It was fun. Where's my wonder? I won a game against humans with this. They, uh... I had a hollow one, untapped. And they attacked with Mantis Rider, and I had a cookbook. And I went, combat. Discard my wonder. Fetch a steam vents. Block. What's up? up uh i have seven cards so i keep i don't know you just can't mulligan against thoughtsies it's not the best hand but do people in rl call me doom at fnm some people do turn one thoughtsies ragman <clears throat> the fuck are they casting? Oh, okay. It's dead. Oh, kill it. Done. Go. Don't have a discard spell, so I can play Teferi. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, Poopy Junt. Poopy Junt. <laughs> Tarmogoyf XD. That's not bad. Tarmogoyf XD. I'm just gonna bounce it. I don't really care that much if they kill Tef. Ooh. Alright, well. We have the combo rolled up over the course of a couple turns. Now we just have to survive. And by a couple, I mean exactly two turns. Fuck you. I cast Inquisition of Kozlak. Took that over the Eladomri's call, huh? I guess that means they're gonna play one drop kill Tef. Or like, discard spell kill Tef. Oh, I guess this is a blocker for Tarmogoyf. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Good bounce, Goyf. I don't know if I want to. Well, actually, bouncing Goyf is not bad. Yeah, I think I actually kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. 
I'm just gonna bounce Glaive. Yeah, because the Goblin was gonna protect a fairy. Yeah, the Goblin was actually really good. Mm. I could Skyclave. Oh no, because I fetched like a moron. I can't Skyclave. God damn it. Z Magnus, thank you so, so much for the five gifted subs. Shout out to Z Magnus. If you got gifted a sub from Z Magnus, please be sure to thank them in the chat. Thank you so much for all the support, buddy. Really, really appreciate that. Doom hype in the chat, please and thank you. Much love, buddy. Hmm. I don't really have a good play now, do I? Because I fetched like a doofus. Could have skyclave this, but or no, I did I board out the skyclave? Yeah, never mind. Uh, I guess I could Tameshi. I mean, maybe my plan is just hard cast. Maybe like I Tameshi them as bait. I'm just wondering if I want to just slam Tameshi. Probably not. I guess I just let Tef die. All right, Teferi's dead. All right, what are we getting? I don't know what we're getting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I should've just got Steve. Cause then I could've went block sack, Tef up to four. Yeah, I should've got Steve. I'm so dumb. Why didn't I just get Steve? Steve was like the perfect card there. Yeah, that was bad. I should've just got Steve. I forgot I had Steve. Yeah, that sucks. I just forgot. I just forgot it was in my deck. That would have been insane. Oh, love in Chicago. I mean, hard cast. You have to hit like I have to run off a bunch of lands, but. I guess they just get like a spell bomb. Maybe a needle for Tameshi. Yeah. Maybe they can't beat a 7 7. I'll splash you to block there. Yeah, now I draw the bloom, of course. Oh, this doesn't do anything. It's literally just a 7-mana seven 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> no text. And I can't not cast it. It doesn't do anything! Go. Oh. You see the Blood Moon Surprise deck on MTG Goldfish? No, what's the Blood Moon Surprise? That sounds like... Something that I don't want to take part of. Ponza with Archon. Oh, I did see somebody 5 out of league with that deck. Yeah, I did see that. I did I did see that deck. I don't really I think the only way to discard Archon was uh Pyromancer though. There was no unmarked graves, none of that stuff. I think it was literally just Pyromancer and no other way to get Archon into the graveyard. Seemed kind of loose. Uh-huh. Alright, can we win? Probably not.
I mean, I'm dead on board if I brick, so. Cool. See, I'm just trying to get Cookbook into every single deck. I'm an Asmo Stan. Basic Swamp. Oh, this is the Scam deck. The classic Scam deck. I mean, Carn the Great Creator is pretty good against us. I will say that. One well, that Seth made a video on had four fable no Karn. Okay. Profane tutor. All right, I'm just gonna hold up call. I was considering playing Steve there, but I'd rather just go hold up call, hold up Pierce, because I think if I just like call, untap Steve, Pierce their Karn, they lose. I don't really think they can win. <clears throat> Either way, any Blood Moons would just be Magus right now. Well, it depends. If you're a main deck Blood Moon deck, I don't think you would want to... Um, like, you don't want a main deck Magus. Blood Moon is a much better main deck card. I mean, I guess I have to pierce this. I'm not actually in love with piercing this, but... If I don't... If I, like, cast Call, they just take Tameshi, and it doesn't really accomplish anything, so... So I guess I can just go Tef up tick. Probably down tick, actually. Yeah, probably down tick. <clears throat> and just hope they don't naturally have the card in hand. Because this shuts off their profane tutor. Alright, please don't have Karn in hand. I think if they don't have Karn in hand, they lose. I guess they could just have a discard spell, but... Cause you know I'm just a little too drunk. Oh, tough scene. Tough scenes. That is some tough scenes. <laughs> and suspend the tutor. Oh, feels bad, man. That's rough. That is rough. Alright, uptick. Let's go white, green, call, to mesh, to mesh. I have to draw a payoff here, but. All right, we bricked. So, um, just like crack this, play these two, and then get pick up the blue and then pass. Um, I guess I could have another draw with Teferi, right? But then I'm a little short on mana because I have to go planes, crack the bloom, play Tef, one floating. Tef bounce nothing. So I have one floating with... Yeah, I don't have enough mana to do anything. So at that point, I should just go here, here, play planes, get back the bloom. Done. This. And then just chill. And this protects me against Liliana. It doesn't protect me against Karn uptick, though. Which is kind of a problem. Obviously, if they down tick Karn, I could just kill it, but. If they uptick Karn, I can't kill it. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. You got it. That one resolves. Thin my deck a little bit. These are just words that tear you apart. Still have yet to find a payoff. It's alright, we'll find one. We'll find one, surely. <laughs> Jesus. 
I bouncing Golos? Yeah, I think so. It's insane. Jesus! Holy crap! Um, I could play second to Meshi. Because the second Tameshi would trigger. It's kind of bad if they just killed the first one, though. Mm. I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah, I think I don't like that. I think I'm just going to go put the Bloom into play. Play the tap land. Pass. A lot of swamps in hand, yeah, I know. Good news is I don't have that many lands left in my deck. And they have a Golos in hand, which doesn't matter. Like, the fact that their best play last turn was Golos means that I feel like I should be fine. I mean, obviously, they could just, like, draw coffers. I don't know why they didn't get coffers last turn. I guess they didn't expect me to bounce the Golos, but... Should ease this pain. All over again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and if their best card, if their best play last turn was Golos, that does make sense. Yeah. Scardy Forest, you may proceed. I guess I shouldn't F6, because if they play Karn, I might want to put this in the graveyard. Alright, basic swamp. Hope they just play Golos. Blood Chief's Thirst targeting Teferi. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess they could have push for Tameshi. Come on! Jesus Christ. I draw a spell, please. I'll check spells. Any spells? Oh my god, dude. This is insane. Uh do I really want to spew a Tameshi just to cycle? So bad. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. Ugh, God. <clears throat> so gross. Should be cycling the Triumph at this point. Oh, you're right. I could have picked up the Triome. I'm stupid. Yeah, I could have picked up the Triome. I'm dumb. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I should have I should have picked up the Triome 100%. Thankfully, they only have Golos. This Tameshio deck is gasoline. <laughs> yeah, he's tall lands. <laughs> yeah, I'm making this deck look real nice when I draw 14 lands. It's our challenge record, 4 and 2. Not the best. Hey, hey, we did it! Woo! Chat, we did it! We drew a spell! Yay! We drew a spell! What's it like? 
What's it like? Oh, I should psych this for green. He drew a spell! Alright, blue. Uh, green. This one. <clears throat> now you die. Now you die. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, they don't even want to see it happen. They don't even want to see it happen. <clears throat> Alright, so playing against Mono Black. <laughs> I actually don't even think Sanctifier does anything. I mean, yeah, it has protection from black, but it's also a fucking grizzly bear. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Um, Lavinia's good against Profane Tutor. Meddling Mage can be good against some of their coffer stuff, but a lot of their cards are like the mana value is is not that high. You know, like they're not trying to cast like a 15 mana fucking Torment of Hellfire or some shit with regards to Lavinia. Protection from garbage would be better than protection from black. Yeah, I uh, I kind of agree. I'm gonna cut these and just bring in Pierce. Oh, I want the Alpine Moon, right? Yeah, I think I want the Alpine Moon. Cut the... I have to keep Skyclay for Karn. Maybe cut the Steve? No, I can cut a Tef. It's kind of tough. I'm not crazy about birds. I've been playing Grazer, good blocker, and that's man in the combo. Grazer is a much better blocker, I will give you that. Oh my god, this hand is super dice. Eh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, F. F's in chat. Well, I can actually call for Skyclave, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. I didn't know they had Leyline. I guess it makes sense. They probably just take Call, right? I think Call makes the most sense. Yeah, I'm 4-2. It's pretty good. I think we're going to win this game if they don't have Karn. I think Karn is the one card we're going to lose to. Otherwise, I think we may be fine. Maybe like two more discard spells, but... I don't even really care if they kill this. Auto yield. Beam me up. Go. Beam me up. Cling to dust. Notably, they also didn't play a Coffers or an Urborg too. Oh, they have Karn. Can't do anything about it. Please don't guard me. I think I win if they don't guard me. They definitely have it, though. Yeah, they definitely have it. Oh, let's go! <laughs> nice coffers. I think we're getting closer. Because I could just Wargate for a Skyclave, right? I think I have enough mana to Wargate for Skyclave and do all that shit. Well, Finale for Skyclave is cheaper, right? Yeah, so I can go green, tap, tap, Finale for three, Skyclave this, crack for blue, Tameshi, crack for white, pick up land, replay land, yeah, 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 okay. This should work. So green, white, red, Finale for three, done. I guess they could have a fatal push for the Tameshi, but. So now we go blue, Tameshi, white, get back bloom. This is where they probably kill Tameshi. Oh no. I guess the problem is I don't have a lot of lands. 
Like, I, I actually can't generate enough a ton of mana, right? Yeah, I don't think I can generate enough mana to actually Colossus them, right? So if I play this untapped, that's three, six, five, eight. I'm one mana short. I can Wargate for Teferi. Is that good? I guess it's not bad. I just leave the blooms in the graveyard. Oh, you're saying Wargate for Tef minus on nothing? <clears throat> Actually, Wargate for lands is probably just better, right? Because I just need lands in play. Yeah, what if I just Wargated for a land? Isn't that just better? I kind of like just Wargating for a land. Yeah. Just get, like, I don't know. PM, it never stops. Just get, like, the Triome. No, I probably want to get a White Source. So we'll get Hallowed Fountain, I guess. Oh, I can pay life here. So that's one, two, three. Untapped, four. Am I still short? Stabs, thank you for the six months. So if I untap this... Uh, mana, that's three, four, three, six, pick up this, five, it's the same mana, right? Five, eight, it's the same amount of mana. Yeah, war gates are made of neutral. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think I'm fine with this. I think I'm just gonna pass with, with this board. Yeah, I'm going to pass with this board. I want to keep the backup Wargate in case they, like, have, like, some kind of removal spell. I guess now they can Karn me. That's bad. So they can get Bog, but I have Wargate for the last Bloom, so that's fine. Oh, they didn't get Bog. Why didn't they get Bog? I feel like they were supposed to get Bog there. Yeah, I actually forgot about Bog, but I also could just Wargate for the Bloom, right? If I had to. Okay, now we should be good to go. So, pick up the Bloom. Done, pick up this. Auto yields. Should be good to go. Untapped. White. Cancel. Blue. Done. <clears throat> Green. Green. Done. Uh, blue. White. It's ten. Oh, we're going to be a mana short, aren't we? Because I have to Wargate for Colossus down a mana? I'm going to be a mana short, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to be a mana short. I mean, I can still just Wargate and put a bunch of shit into play, right? I mean, I had no way of getting 11, right? I'm just going to Wargate for Colossus, I guess. Like... I think I want to get one more land? What do you mean? No, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. I just want to I just want to try and find action. Like I know that my Colossus dies, but I'm just gonna have you know what I mean? Like this is totally fine. Like even if they wrath me, I'm still gonna kill them. Did we play a land yet? Yeah, because I replayed the Hallowed Fountain. Like, yeah, I know the Colossus dies, but I don't really care. I have I have plenty of gas. I mean, I guess it depends on what their follow-up is, but... 
we hit absurdly well. We did. We, we raid a bunch of lands off. I'm not going to lie. Maybe <laughs> even unlucky. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe that play was too greedy. So they're going to go Los. What do we hit? Hit a Liliana Inquisition and a Tutor. Don't think that's going to do it. Don't think that's going to do it. Why did the Colossus die? I had no lands in play. So Colossus has power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. When I cast it, I had no lands in play. Cricket Sun. All right. I know my challenge match started, but I want to finish this because they're dead. Yeah, we have lethal now. Easy lethal. They didn't make me do it the last time, but... Oh, they could get Needle. But then I could just Wargate for the... I kept in the portable hole, right? No, I cut... Oh, fuck, I cut the portable hole. Alright, well, that doesn't matter, because I can just Wargate for the last bloom. I have a bloom left, right? Yeah, I have a bloom left. All right, you're dead. Not lethal this turn because we have no finale. Did I use both my finales? Oh, I did. I had not realized I used both my finales. I mean, the last time they just scooped to the Colossus, which they might do again, but... Cause I need a weapon. <laughs> uh, wait. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, done. I could have gone deeper, but I'm lazy. I'm actually going to, oh no, I guess I'm going to play the Odawara. Uh, done. Go get back bloom. <clears throat> yeah, it's not the best to play online, I will say that. Guess we can go blue. No whites. Done. Blue. Get back this. It's not the best to play online, I will say that. White, Teferi, uh, Bounce Golo so I can kill Liliana. Let's get... Uh, I kind of want to save the Colossus, just in case they have Damnation. Whatever, I'll just play it. Um, Four mana... Crack this, call. Call for the last Colossus. I mean, I probably shouldn't put this Colossus into play, right? Yeah, just in case they have Damnation. I'll hold up some stuff. And go Alpine Moon on Cabal Coffers. <laughs> and we can go... I'll play this. Just clicking buttons. All right, you can go. Done. 
Discard. Go. Karn, the great content creator. Uh, sure, that resolves. They got Nihil Spellbomb. Okay. Not really sure where they're going with that. I guess they have, like, a removal spell for Colossus? Okay. Still dead. Yeah, I have lethal in play. <clears throat> Alright, they've conceded from the game. Sweet, now we can focus on the challenge. Got a little 3-2 with Tameshi. All right, and that was our five-round Magic Online League with the Tameshi combo deck. As I said in the intro, I had an absolute blast playing this deck. Not, you know, um, I was hoping for a better record. Three and two is not bad for the first the first ever league that I played with this deck. Um, as you can see, the games were a little bit long, mostly because the combo turns took a while. I didn't want to skip through the combo turns because I wanted you guys to see the combo and, you know, how it works fully. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Moving forward, I think I would consider potentially adding a third copy of Finale because there were a couple of spots where, as you saw, I ran out of the Finale. Finales, like I had to cast them early to find a combo piece or cast them mid combo to find a cultivator colossus and I just didn't have access to a third one it is pretty important because you really don't want to be saying go when you're you know when you're on your combo turn so I think having a third finale would be pretty good uh, the seal of removal didn't come up too often same with the Sakura tribe elder so those are kind of on the chopping block but uh, and potentially the spell pierce as well sideboard the carnage tyrant the tracker didn't come up just not the matchups we played against I understand why they're there uh, same with the forge tenders we just didn't play against red decks that much so, uh, but yeah, overall, really big fan of the deck, and if you're into this kind of, you know, uh, combo style finish with this toolbox uh, aspect of it, really sweet deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.